Hey guys, Muay Thai Sekai here, and today we'll be doing a review on the Raja RJG boxing gloves. So first off hand, Raja has been around in the Muay Thai, uh, Muay Thai boxing game for quite a long time. They're, I definitely put them up there as a reputable brand against, you know, brands like Fairtex, uh, Windy, and uh, Twins. Take a look at the glove. Uh, let's take a look at all different components. First off, let's take a look at the design. This is a genuine leather, top grain leather glove made in Thailand. Um, you can tell right away the sense of quality, top quality, right when you pick up and feel the glove. Um, you take a look closely. It has this one top design to cover your whole hand. Uh, Smells like pure genuine leather, smells great. I here have it in a two-tone white and black and white uh, color scheme. Uh, what's great about Raja is that you can pick them up in various different color schemes. Um, I've seen them in, I've seen this in red, white, blues, yellows, green, golds. And that's what's great that with their assortment of colors. Uh, you can pick them up at rajaboxing.com or various websites like eBay, uh, Muay, Thai, Muay Thai factories where I picked mine up from. Going along the design, this uses a Velcro system. And within the wrist quality, it does hold your wrist really well. It actually goes quite far down my wrist. And it's very stable, holds it well. Looking at, paying attention to the detail, you can see their screen printed design here. Handmade in Thailand, Raja Boxing. What I also like is their attention to detail is the gold printed logo inside the Velcro strap as well. The glove here has some ventilation right into the middle of the palm and none on the palms, on the thumb side rather. It is attached here, but you still have some pretty good thumb movement when gripping and making a fist. This glove is a Muay Thai glove, so it does have some flexibility. The reason to that is that when you're when you're in Muay Thai, you need to go into a clinch. You can flex your hand and really bring the person's head down. Now, when you take a look closely, the uh, the sense of design and, and attention to detail is that they really took time to make this glove and make it a top quality glove. And you can tell by it, there's just no missed stitching. The stitching is beautiful. It's in line everywhere. There's no hanging loose threads anywhere or anything like that. This glove is, uh, I purchased the 16 ounce glove, which is a, a training sparring glove, but they do make them uh, from 10, all the way up, I believe you can request up to 18. Um, I have medium sized hands and these, like my hands aren't too big and they're not too small, so these would fit well. Um, if you have larger hands, you may want to go with the 16 or the, uh, or the 18 ounce, if you have longer fingers. And speaking of fingers with the grip, when you do grip them, there is the uh, the grip bar here, which is quite pronounced, but uh, you could still make a pretty good fist. Uh, I find that the the grip bar is higher up on your fingers uh, when somewhere lower around your knuckle. You do have a uh, a patch here. Um, I wish that they made a, a rubberized patch. Maybe they do, I'm, I'm not sure. If you guys know, please let me know. 
uh, it's because rubberized patches like the ones that twins make just give it a real nice premium feel uh, if we look inside as well uh, there is it's not rubberized but there there is a patch that's here for your wrist so that makes your wrist feel really comfortable inside and uh, it is spacious but still comfortable enough snug enough with the foam inside so if you're if you have your your uh, wraps on it'll still feel really snug and if you take a look at the attention to detail with the uh, the stitching it's just perfect I love little things like these that is major attention to detail where it says Raja that just means you know they've taken the time and the sense of quality that they do with their gloves. The type of leather in, inside, they do have a triple layer EVA and latex foaming for the sense of uh, protection and feedback when you're hitting the gloves and you're hitting bags. Uh, definitely, you'd, you'd, these would definitely be really good in, uh, in sparring and, and bag work. Because it'll, it'll definitely it'll hold up. Uh, if you're gonna be, if you are a, um, this can be meant for anyone who's uh, anyone from just using a simple workout or an actual, you know, competitive fighter. Now I'm aware that Raja, they can make, um, they they do make custom pairs where you can really design your gloves to the extent of you know having your name stitched or having custom colors. It all just a matter of what your imagination is and you know how much you want to pay. Uh, keep in mind when purchasing gloves, I've seen the cost of these go anywhere from 50 bucks all the way to 150, depending on where the source is. Um, when you when you're if you're in Thailand, obviously that's best, and you can purchase them right there at the source, and you can probably get them for about 50 bucks US. But uh, you know, keep in mind when you are ordering gloves from like Muay Thai factory. You know, you'll definitely, you'll still have some consideration of customs or or uh, international shipping. So that's where I've seen a lot of gloves, like qu top quality gloves will go around for, you know, purchasing at $100, $120. And I still believe that's worth it because if you're going to be using these gloves like this for uh, quite a long time and really beating the crap out of them, then it's totally worth it. Overall, once again, um, my thoughts on these gloves is that they, as though they're new and they're stiff, that you can still break them in. You can, uh, I broke them in a little bit because I used them a little bit, but uh, these are right up there with Twins, Fairtex, Windy, uh, as the OG of gloves uh, when you're when you're when you're hitting, and uh, you'll definitely. It's not a it's not a wrong choice. Um, it's as you can see that looking at the glove, it's it's still there. Uh, classic design that hasn't changed much because it works right uh, the only thing I do wish is that in in more modern uh, Muay Thai gloves today is that they do have padding here I find it funny because they have an outline for your for your palm side here but there's no physical padding on the physical padding when you're blocking it'd be really good to have that padding and extra protection but outside of that overall great glove great glove please let me know if you like the video or have any comments and do follow me on instagram and uh, thank you for watching the video